In this tutorial, we're going to talk about paper bag design. And when we say paper bag design, it doesn't mean, you know, the front design of the bag, but the whole design, like what wraps around the edges, what um, goes inside the bag, as far as design, if that's the case. So we have to think about like a huge sheet of paper and um, think of it that way and create a guide on it to know where the front is, where the sides are, and so forth. And end up uh, adding crop marks and bleeds to send that long, flat, big sheet of paper to the printer that will eventually be cut and folded into a paper bag. So the paper bag that we have right here is just a craft paper bag. I'm showing it to you because um, I'm going to use this dimension. This is a 7 inch wide by a 10 inch high by a 4 inch uh, thick paper bag. It's a it's craft paper, and um, this is not exactly what I'm referring to. I'm just using it for its dimension. But um, what I will show you in the coming um, you know few minutes is um, if we're printing on a nice you know white coated or uncoated piece of paper that will end up being cut and folded into a paper bag, uh, as opposed to this being a craft you know uh, paper bag. So let me put this aside and scale it down. And let me start by, you know, uh, drawing the guides into which I will end up implementing my design. So if this is my um, 7 inch by 10 inch by 4 inch uh, paper bag that, you know, basically this is going to be the, the outcome, um, then I will start by taking the rectangle tool, clicking once on the artboard, and then specifying the right dimensions. Now, as we said, uh, this paper bag is seven inches by 10 inches, and then I'll hit OK. Now, look at uh, what I have happening here. Um, my artboard is quite small for the size of my bag, so I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of my artboard um, dramatically. Let me go to Document, uh, Setup, Edit Artboards, and then really scale this artboard up to fit you know a big big paper bag okay and i'll take my elements oops hit enter uh, i hit the escape button by the way not enter okay and position my seven inch by ten inch rectangle right here okay so now um this is the front side it doesn't matter what color i have to be honest and uh, because I'm, I'm not talking about the design yet, I'm just talking about how to build the paper bag. Uh, and actually, I'm not going to talk about design or colors at this stage. So let's remove this color and make this transparent box a guide. So Command-5, okay? It's a guide and it's unlocked, so I'm glad I can continue. Now, I've already constructed the front side of this bag, right? This is my 7 inch by 10 inch rectangle. What I need next is the thickness because if you actually take a, a 7 by 10 inch paper bag, unfold it, you know, there's a small tear here uh, that is, you know, the, the, la, the end of the paper bag meets the front of the paper bag with a small side that's um, glued. So you can tear that up and then unfold the paper bag, lay it flat on a uh, table and then see what it's made up of. It's made up of the following elements that I'm creating. So I have the front side now done. Now I want to create the, the, the thickness. So all I need to do is select my front side, hit enter, and then the move panel appears. And what I want to do is basically move this, I want to copy this um, rectangle to the right. Now what is its width? It's 7 inches. I don't want it to move vertically, so I want to enter 0 for vertical. And that's it. And then hit copy. Okay, so now I have two of these rectangles. But my thickness is not 7 inches, it's 4 inches. So 7 minus um, how much is 4? That's the question. 7 minus 3. So all I need to do is uh, click outside and drag to select these last two vector points and then hit enter one more time so that now I go ahead and enter the value minus 3 for horizontal and nothing for vertical so that these two vector points will go 
3 inches to the left and then hit OK. So now I have a 4 inch um, thickness for the side. Okay, so this paper bag obviously is made up of uh, two front sides and two thicknesses, right? That's why I'm going to select this whole thing and hit enter. And now I want to copy it to the right. Now this is 7 inches and this is 4 inches. So the, the final value 7 and 4 is 11 inches. So I will enter that for horizontal and then hit copy. Now what I have is all four sides, or if you want, the two sides and the two thicknesses of my paper bag done. So I've, I've done pretty well so far. What I need to do next is create the small um, rectangle right here at the beginning of everything, which is a tiny space, uh, almost a 0 0.5 inch space, that is used for nothing but to glue the ending to the beginning so that it looks you know folded and it becomes like a container. To do that I, I want to take this initial rectangle hit enter and then you know the width is 7 inches and if I want it to go left I should use a negative value so minus 7 and then 0 for vertical. I'm hitting the tab key to go from one um, to the other and then hit copy. Now this thickness should be 0 0.5 inches so 7 minus um, obviously 6.5 will result into 0 0.5. That's why I want to click outside and select these last two vector points. And uh, hit enter. And this time if I'm moving from left to right, I enter a positive value of 6.5. And nothing for vertical. And then hit OK. Okay, so I also have this gluing side ready for me. Um, I need to do two more things before wrapping up. Um, I need to add um, an extra rectangle right here for uh, folding the, the bag internally because sometimes, um, obviously this, paper, this uh, craft paper bag is not the good example, Sometimes when you have nice, uh, nicely printed paper bags, you have the design folding in with inside, um, you know, the top edges, inside the front and the thickness edges. Um, and to do that, you know, we need another, um, basically, space to print on, another rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and select this left a small side, hit enter, and zero for horizontal, and now to go upwards, I should enter a negative value and the height of my rectangle, which is 10 inches. And then hit copy. Okay, now this folding edge is just 1.5 inches, which means I'm going to click outside and drag to select these last two um, uh, vector points and then hit enter and enter 8.5 for vertical to end up with a rectangle that is 0 0.5 inches wide and 1.5 inches high. Now what I need to do next is extend this side all the way to obviously the, the end part of the design. So just click on this uh, line with using the direct selection tool and then hit enter and actually the addition of um, you know 11 and 11 because this is 10 and 4, 10 and 4 um, sorry I mean 7 and 4, 7 and 4 that's 22 so I want to enter 22 here and then 0 and OK alright so I'm good I also need to do the same thing for the bottom because without the bottom you know there's a hole in the bag we need this base to hold the whole container um, from the base, uh, all the weight that's that will eventually be put into that bag. So the same thing, I'm going to take this um, rectangle, hit enter, 0 for um, horizontal and then 10 for vertical and hit copy. And the thickness of this, uh, I mean the height of this uh, base is going to be 2.5. So all I need to do is click outside, drag and select these two vector points and then uh, 
um, enter negative 7.5 which will end up giving me um, a rectangle which is 0.5 inches wide and 2.5 inches high. Um, if you make mistakes and you're not sure about what you've done, you can just select your element and look at the top panel right here. It gives you the dimensions of the current selected element. So it's telling me uh, my rectangle is 0.5 inches wide by 2.5 inches high. Okay, and now I need to extend it all the way to the right. So I click on this um, right edge using the direct selection tool, hit enter, and then the value 22, which is the sum of 11 times 2. OK, and then hit OK. So this is what you need. This is your mold, if you will. 